Hey chickadees, welcome to a new video. I wanted to make this little kind of introductory video to start a playlist that I'm going to be putting up on my channel and that will be the playlist of me making my ensemble for the prior attire ball in Bath in May. So I am making pretty much everything for my ensemble. Some of it you would have seen in my 2020 Make 9 plans and we'll start with kind of the base layers up. So I'll be making a new chemise using my usual pattern, the Laughing Moon Mercantile Shift that comes with the Door and Silverado corset patterns. That will just be in some white cotton lawn that I have. Then I'm not sure which corset I'm going to wear, whether it's going to be my Silverado or my silk kind of modern silhouette pattern that I've made. Obviously the silk might be a bit more breathable because um, it's only two layers whereas my actual Silverado is uh, three layers and I think the fashion layer is technically polyester or at least uh, non-natural fibre so I don't know how warm it's going to get um, so I'll have to kind of decide which one I'm going to do or I might make a new corset um, that's not on the plans though then we have the corset cover and petticoat combinations. I was inspired by a picture from Pinterest which I will link down below for you and hopefully put somewhere on the screen here. Again it will be made of some white cotton lawn that I've got and I'll take you guys along with the making of videos. Then for the actual gown itself it will be in two pieces. It will be the truly Victorian bodice which I have made some alterations to so I need to make a mock up of the altered version, um, make sure that fits all right and you know just go ahead with it like I did for my bronze ball gown. And then for the skirt I will be using the fan skirt pattern from Black Snail Patterns on Etsy and I'm really happy that I found these guys through a recommendation on the History Bounding Facebook group. They offer digital and printed patterns and that's one of my biggest bugbears with Truly Victorian. I love their patterns, you know they're great, they're from extant garments, but they come with a price tag, especially here in the UK. To get a printed pattern it's about £15, £16. Pound. Um, obviously it's 100% worth it, but being able to offer a digital pattern um, for a historical garment which Black Snail Patterns does, you know, is a bonus because then I can just print it out myself or, you know, send it off to something like Net Printer and get it printed off there. And then I'll also be making my gloves, which haven't turned out to be that complex, um, but they are fiddly. It's a bit like when people ask me if, you know, making corset is difficult. I say, well, I wouldn't say it's difficult, it's just complex. Um, there's a lot of little pieces and you know the seams are only an eighth of an inch wide so yeah they can get a bit fiddly but I'm actually having a lot of fun making them. Now for the fabric I want to use a silk taffeta. The only issue is trying to get decently priced silk taffeta in the UK is really really difficult. I've been to Goldhawk Road, I was going to do a vlog but I didn't end up buying anything so you know there was no reason to do a vlog. Um, you know there was a lot of nice silk taffetas there for a reasonable price, about 25 to 30 pound a metre. That's pretty much the cheapest that you can find in England that I've seen so far. It can go up to about 70, 80 pounds a metre and I want it in a kind of lilac lavender colour which doesn't seem to exist really. So I have two options. I'm going to go back to Goldhawk Road and have another look. There was one promising one which was about £18 a metre I can't exactly remember what it looks like or what the quality was like so I'm going to go back have a look at it. If I can get it in a silver or even a white then I can do some dye tests 
um, and obviously make sure it is at least enough natural fibre silk to dye so hopefully that will work if I get it in the silver and it doesn't dye properly then I can still make it up in the silver and it will be still a very very pretty gown so stay tuned for that vlog coming up shortly hopefully it will be successful more successful than the last time I went to Gold Hawk Road failing that I could always order it for Mood in America and have it shipped over don't really want to do that because obviously it is quite pricey but if all else fails then that's what I'm going to have to do so I hope you guys enjoyed that introduction to the whole ensemble stay tuned and keep up to date with my progress I'll have all my links in the down bar for you whilst you're down there if you want to subscribe give me a like and a comment that would be really really helpful and I'll see you guys soon bye